specializing in today's event and hope to be using uh, similar for future types of events. Um, today we want to welcome back Richard Cadena. Uh, your overwhelming response to uh, Richard's previous presentation uh, caused us to request his return. As most of you already know, Richard's the editor of PLSN, uh, a recognized industry expert and the author of many books on lighting design and other technologies that affect our industry, including electricity for entertainment electricians and technicians, lighting design for modern houses of worship, uh, automated lighting, the art of science and moving light, uh, focus on lighting technology, and his latest work, electricity for entertainment electricians and technicians. Uh, our special guest today, and uh, we're particularly excited about this, uh, is Jeff Rabbit. Uh, Jeff has been the lighting designer for uh, Bruce Spring uh, Springsteen since 1984. He was awarded a primetime Emmy for Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band on HBO, and two Los Angeles Emmys for Univision's El Grito de Mexico in 2005 and 2006. Uh, Jeff designed lighting for live televised spectaculars, award shows, news magazines, and studio-based productions. Uh, recent work includes the design of television specials for Springsteen, Beyonce, The Black Eyed Peas, and Dave Matthews. So we want to uh, thank uh, Jeff for being here with us today and, uh, and welcome him to the series. Um, before Thanks, we get, Kevin. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Uh, before we get started, we've got a little bit of housekeeping I just want to go through for any of you who haven't attended previously. Uh, basically, the, the audience is in, uh, in mute mode so that uh, the, the speakers can talk, um, but you can ask questions uh, using the, uh, the questions or the, or the chat feature. Uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll be responding to those during the course of the webinar as they apply to uh, specific things that we're addressing. Uh, we'll also be holding some of those until the end of the, uh, of the webinar so that both Richard and Jeff can uh, respond to anything specific that you might have. Uh, and if we run out of time and for some reason can't get to all your questions, uh, then what we'll do is we'll make sure that uh, we sure that, uh, answer you via email via after the fact. Email after the fact. Yeah. Okay, so what we'd like to do is get get started with a couple of quick polling questions just to find out a little bit about the audience so Richard and Jeff will have a better idea of who they're actually talking to. Uh, so our first polling question is, what's your present position or occupation? And you just basically choose one of those. Uh, are you a student, a teacher, a working professional, uh, or an inspiring professional in, in lighting design, lighting tech, that type of thing, um, or other? And we'll give you a couple of, couple of minutes to, uh, to answer that question, and then we'll move on. We basically have four, just to give us a little bit more background. All right, we've got 90% of you that have voted, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll close that one out. And basically, your response there: 9% um, of you are students, 6% are teachers, 63% are working professionals, 20% are aspiring professionals or lighting designers, and 2% uh, fall into the other category. Okay, our second polling question then. is how much experience do you have working with lighting? And your selections are 0 to 1 year, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 10, or 10 or more. Again, we'll give you a couple of seconds to, to get that responded to. about 90% of you that have responded to that as well. We'll go ahead and close that poll. And basically, your response there, 4% uh, are 0 to 1, 10% are 1 to 3, 16% are 3 to 5, 26 are 5 to 10, and 43% are 10 or more. So we've got a lot of uh, experienced professionals out there. Okay. Um, Next question is, do you have experience with any of the following software programs? AutoCAD, WYSIWYG, LD Assistant, Vectorworks, or ESPN Vision? Gives us a better idea. You know, Richard and, and Jeff both have a lot of experience in this area and their own you know, personal preferences 
just like to get an idea of the audience that we're speaking to. Yeah, that's ESP Vision. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I have there? I, what I say, EPS? You said ESPN. You know, oh. it's experience. Well, I, in front I watch of too much sports, watch. I guess, you know. Okay, I'll give you a couple of extra seconds here. Okay, and results there are... Um, 46% say they've got experience with AutoCAD, 37% WYSIWYG, 7% LD Assistant, 42% VectorWorks, and 6% ESP Vision, no ESPN. All right, and our last polling question is, how many shows have you designed? And the choices are none, a few, a lot, or more than I can count. audience this time, Richard. We get up to like 90% plus on, on every one of these polls, so they're, they, they really want to jump right in and participate. Okay, and the results on that one are 13% with no, um, ex, no design experience or haven't done any shows, 36% a few, 25% a lot, and 26% more than I can count. So, we want to thank you for uh, your response there. And I'll go ahead and we'll turn this back over to uh, to Richard. And Thank you, Kevin. Go ahead. I appreciate you guys hosting this webinar. And thanks to everybody at uh, Creative Stage Lighting. And I particularly want to thank everybody who is uh, attending this. I know it's not easy to take the time out of your day, and I do appreciate it. And uh, I would especially, of course, like to thank Jeff Ravitz. Jeff is one of those designers that I would consider to be in the in the very top echelon of designers up there with people like Willie Williams and Peter Morse and Roy Bennett. And, um, you know, he's, but when it, when it comes to being just an all-around great guy, Jeff really has no peers. He's one of the most decent human beings I know, and I really appreciate you being here, Jeff. Are you feeling good, feeling right, like it's Saturday night, Jeff? Yeah, yeah you, you know, know it. it. <laughs> Out of sight. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the, um, the design process. And uh, then we'll ask Jeff specifically about some of his approaches to lighting design. You know, I always say that if you ask 10 lighting designers uh, one question about lighting design, you're liable to get 10 uh, different answers, equally valid, uh, but just 10 different approaches. So I think it's interesting to bring in other people's perspective and uh, see how they would approach the subject. But some of the things we're going to be talking about, and we'll talk about these in more detail, but we'll be talking about visibility, revealing the subject, aesthetics, mood and energy, depth and separation, focusing attention. We'll talk about lighting for video, modeling the subject, illuminant targets, uniformity, highlighting the set or architecture, the truck pack, and the budget. So starting right off the bat, uh, just to give you guys a little background, a couple of weeks ago I went and saw one of Jeff's show, one of Jeff's shows. It was uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. I took a bunch of pictures and I inter interspersed them in this uh, presentation. And uh, hopefully Jeff can talk a little bit about these and his approach as we as we discuss them. So the first thing that I would, when, when, when you're sitting down with a new project, one of the first considerations, of course, is that you want the audience to be able to see the subjects. So visibility is way up there at the top of the, of the design goals. Uh, would you say so, Jeff? Is that, is that an accurate assessment? 